Now at six, as we track the impacts of COVID-19, we're also hearing stories of recovery. ABC 27's Alexa Trishler shares how one local hospital and a COVID survivor are inspiring hope in the community. Scary, daddy truth, but I knew that it was going to be all right. Renita Jones describes the moments she and her husband started to feel sick in August. Jones had pain in her lower legs that made it hard to even walk. Couldn't get up out of bed. I, I couldn't get up, didn't want to take a bath. I just couldn't get up and brush my teeth. Looked like I was drained. Her husband first took her to Bainbridge Hospital, which was packed. So they headed to Donaldsonville Hospital in neighboring Seminole County. About 30 minutes after our day took me in the emergency room, they come and told me that it was COVID. A small rural hospital about to take care of one of their longest staying COVID-19 patients. Renita had to be on a ventilator for two days and couldn't lay on her back. Plenty of medical problems before and it was hard, but there is nothing I have went through was like the COVID. For 14 days, Jones was in the hospital, becoming one of the hospital's longest patients. During that time, her three kids camped outside of her window, waiting for their mom to get better. The hospital decided it was time to inspire hope to the remaining COVID-19 patients and all of their staff by sending Renita off with a bang. There she comes with some fresh air. <laughs> with the worst of COVID behind her, her outlook now? I never take anything for granted anymore. Because you could be here one day and gone the next. That's just how fast it happened. And I was blessed. 54% of patients at Donaldsonville Hospital are COVID positive. That number has been as high as 80% over the last three weeks.